Do you like trains? If so, I think this is going to be a favorite story for you. It's called Steam Train, Dream Train, written by Sherry Dusky Rinker and Tom Lichtenheld. I'm Granny Ricky, and you have arrived at Storytime for Serena. Hello, everybody. Steam Train, Dream Train. Look at that long, long train traveling through the night. There's the engine and look at all the carriages and tankers. All the different things that's on the train. Look at that. Oh man, it sure is a long train. And there's the smoke billowing out of the engine. I wonder where it's going. Through the darkness, clickety-clack. Coming closer down the track, hold your breath so you can hear huffing, chuffing, drawing near. A whistle blares out in the night, a mighty engine, wondrous sight. The smoke stack puffs, the big wheels grind, the trusty tenders close behind. Cling, clang! The bell rings out on top, hissing steam, brakes squeal, then stop. The driver, the driver signals to the crew, each worker knows just what to do. Quick, before it gets too late, start to load up all the freight. Everything will soon be stowed, a train car matched to every load. The crew slides back the box car doors and tumbles in to start their chores. They whirl, twirl, cartwheel, jump, but cargo's stowed without a bump. Things that rock and roll and spin all are juggled safely in. The freight is loaded as they play. They work and bounce the night away. Building blocks erector sets, bikes and kites and model jets. The boxcars made to safely haul almost anything at all. The hopper's top is open wide so cargo can be poured inside. The crew hops to it, one and all. They get to work and have a ball. Then with a bounce, a pounce, a leap, Three boys jump in and fall asleep. Tankers lined up in a row are getting filled with paints to go. Purple, yellow, green and blue. A colour convoy coming through. The reefer car is snug and cold. Its chilli box can safely hold frozen treats for every stop like a rolling ice cream shop. The train car's packed, the crew sits back and chills out with a midnight snack. Ten hard workers lend a hand to fill the gondolas with sand. Sand for castles, moats and more. Sands for, for sand for tunnels, sand galore. Stacked up on the auto track. Six race cars for a private track. Rainbow colours, flames and stripes. Shiny engines, chromy pipes. The auto rack will gently keep these fast, fast cars fast asleep. The well cars carry giant beasts munching on enormous feasts. Brachiosaurus likes the view while T-Rex gets a bone to chew. The flatbed cars are rolling beds. The weary crew can rest their heads and settle in and tuck in tight. Their work is finished for tonight. The red caboose is last in line. From the lookout, all looks fine. The freight and crew are tacked away. The next stop 
is another day. A hiss, a jolt, a shift, a sway. Now the journey's underway. The train's departing car by car. The headlight fades into the stars. Puffing, chuffing, out of sight. Steam train, dream train. Ch, ch, good night. Ah, oh, that was a good story. I think this little boy sleeping in his bed is dreaming about his train set. Should we have another look? The little boy is dreaming about all his toys, boarding the train and helping to load the train. And every load is packed by these animals and they all have a whole lot of fun. The monkeys spring into action while they load all the toys. They swirl and twirl and cart right, cartwheel and jump. Things that rock and roll and spin are all safely loaded in. Look at the bunnies bounce, 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 taking those pogo sticks into the train. And here's the camel carrying the building blocks and the erector sets, bicycles and kites. Everything is safely being stowed in the boxcar. The hopper has a wide open top and in there they're loading all the balls. Look at that, these kangaroos are having a good game. They're throwing the balls in and here they're bouncing and pouncing and leaping about. And then these three boys jump in and fall asleep. Now the little boy is dreaming that the elephants are filling the tankers with paint. Yellow and green and blue and purple paint. Look out, here comes a color, color convoy. The reefer car is being loaded up by the bears and the penguins. What are they loading? Ice cream. Delicious, beautiful, big ice creams. Mm -hmm. And when they're done loading, they sit on these big blocks of ice and enjoy their ice creams. Oh man, what a lovely dream that is. And now the gondolas, these great big open carriages, are being filled with sand. Look at these hard workers, all carrying the sand, running up there, they run up the ramp, pour the sand into the gondola, and down they go again, round and round and round, filling up the gondola with sand. And here we see the auto rack. This is where they take cars on the train. The cars drive up this ramp burp, and they park in a row. All of them smartly parked. Look at them. They are so beautiful, these racing cars. Rainbow colors and flames, stripes, chromy pipes, and the cars are all fast asleep on the train. And then come the well cars, where the giant beasts are stacked. We've got the Brachiosaurus. He's standing there looking at the beautiful view. And the big T-Rex. He's got a bone to chew. They've also been loaded on this train. The flatbed cars are rolling beds. Look at all these animals fast asleep on their flatbeds. Oh my goodness me, there's the elephant and that looks like a wolf and all these tiny little mice and here's a kangaroo family and of course some monkeys. There's an owl keeping watch over them. Their work is finished for tonight. The red caboose is the last carriage along on this train. 
Look here. The tall giraffe's head is sticking out of the roof of the caboose. It's a good lookout point for him. And all looks fine. The freight and crew are tucked away. The next stop is another day. That's when they wake up. It'll be another day. And there's the little boy fast asleep in his bed while his steam train, his dream train, has also come to a halt. No more chug, chug, chugging along the rail. It's time to sleep. Good night. I enjoy stories about dreams. It's your imagination really having so much fun when you're fast asleep, making up all sorts of stories with all sorts of animals and creatures and people that you know. I hope you have some really good dreams. You should try and write them down so that you could remember and tell your own story about your dream. It's time for me to say Bye-bye, Serena. Bye-bye, everybody. See you soon. Mwah.